then Blackbeard calls in for backup and they straight up hit this man with an all out attack real quick. Now, there are many antagonists in the One Piece verse, but no antagonist has gone from a D tier villain to an absolute unit the way Blackbeard has. Let me explain. I want to start this flashback where we see Ace and Blackbeard eating together. Because bro, Blackbeard was looking like the most holly jolly friendly character this side of the East Blue, bruh. Then Thwatch found the Yami Yami no Mi, and bro, at this very moment, Blackbeard knew he was about to run the most devious lick. Because bro really murdered Thwatch with the biggest grin knowing that he was about to spin the block on the entire One Piece verse once he ate this fruit. Many months later. So once Ace catches up to Blackbeard and his crew, Blackbeard turns around and starts acting like he didn't straight up just bop thwatch and run off. So Ace is like, don't act all buddy buddy with me. I ain't come here to talk. And Blackbeard's like, hear me out. Why don't you join my crew? And bro, Ace really looked at this man like, Then Blackbeard really said, how can I absolutely not convince Ace to join my crew? Because bro is really not passing all these dialogue checks. Because he starts out with, Whitebeard's done, and I'll be Pirate King. Then Blackbeard's like, not only that, I'm going to Water 7 to go kill Luffy and give him to the government. So Ace is baffled and is like, what did you just say? Luffy? And bro is really giving off that, did you say chocolate type energy. And Blackbeard's like, oh, so you know him. And Ace is like, that's my brother, and you just gave me another reason to send you to go hang out with Davy Jones real quick. So after giving Ace the worst pitch to join his crew, Ace declines, and that's when Van Alger straight up just tries to shoot this man Ace. So it does nothing, and Ace is like, well, I guess I gotta teach one of your men some manners, and straight up brings out the Mara Mara no chopper. So then Jesus straight up throws a building at Ace, and this man is really making Blackbeard's crew look like fodder because he blasted that building away no problem. And Blackbeard's like, Y'all are trash. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are trash. And while they were talking amongst themselves, Ace really took that opportunity to blow all of them up off screen so disrespectfully. Then this man Blackbeard is on fire, and I'm not gonna lie, this man was looking like a straight up fraud so far, cause bro was really looking packed up. So Ace has this man rolling around on the ground, and then Blackbeard comes to the realization, he's like, you really are trying to kill me, aren't you? So once Blackbeard starts showing off his fruit and explains that it's the most evil fruit in existence, I wasn't sure if I should believe bro, especially with how he was looking two minutes ago. But Blackbeard starts using his powers and I was like, damn, this man might not be fodder anymore. You got me. <laughs> so he explains that his fruit has dark gravity powers, which is wild. So Blackbeard sucks up the entire village and the villagers are just looking at him like, damn bro, you really had to destroy our village just to prove a point that you're not an average ass character anymore. So then Blackbeard spits out the entire village and I'm like, okay, Blackbeard's looking kind of valid. Then Blackbeard also explains that he can grab Logia devil fruit users physical bodies and pulls Ace straight to him. And then he gives Ace one of the most disrespectful right hooks in all of One Piece. And that punch did some damage to Ace. Then Blackbeard starts talking his shit. He's like, hey, you haven't felt what a punch feels like in a minute, huh, Ace? Then Blackbeard also explains that his powers can negate Devil Fruit powers, which is also extremely broken. Dude is really Asta, no cap. So Blackbeard pulls Ace in again and is getting ready to hit bro with another right hook when Ace hit back landed, but bro, Blackbeard gave this man a mean punch to the back of the neck. So later in the fight, both Ace and Blackbeard are looking pretty gassed. So they get into a almost a DBZ beam struggle with their devil fruits, and we see that Ace's hat is on the ground, and at that moment I knew Blackbeard had this man Ace cooked. So in Impel Down, Luffy starts working his way to the 6th level to free Ace, and Luffy is really beating the brakes off the Vice Warden in the 3rd level of the day. When Blackbeard comes out of nowhere on demon timing and does this Vice Warden so dirty, he steps on this man's face and stomps him into the ground. So Jinbei is like, teach. Why is your bitch ass here? Then Jinbei calls him Blackbeard, and this sets off Luffy because he read in that newspaper that Blackbeard is the ultimate op for turning in A's. Then this man is so disrespectful, he pulls up on Luffy and is like, 
You better pay respects to Onichan because he caught all the smoke that was meant for you. So then Luffy really said, To end this man's whole career. Huh? And bro, what do you mean by with that? the way Blackbeard's face changed, I knew this man was going to be back on some fraud like behavior because this man got pressed so quickly after talking all that shit. So Luffy pops Blackbeard and sends him into the wall head first. And this man, as per usual, has a negative five defensive stat because. He is looking donezo after that hit. So Luffy is getting ready to smack bro again. When Blackbeard straight up pulls him and once he has Luffy, Blackbeard was looking like he's about to get his get back in 4K. So this man Blackbeard straight up yeets Luffy into the ground. And because Blackbeard hit Luffy with the Aizawa treatment, Luffy's powers didn't give him a defense boost and Luffy is just screaming in pain after taking that hit. So Luffy gets up and is about to start round two when Blackbeard starts being extremely disrespectful again and is like, yeah, that move I hit you with, that's the exact one I used to pack up Ace. And Jinbei being the goat as usual starts holding Luffy back and Luffy really said, nah, I want, I want the smoke with this man. So Jinbei convinces Luffy to go after Ace instead of running the ones with Blackbeard. So Luffy decides to go after Ace and walks past Blackbeard. Then Blackbeard starts getting hyped up. He's like, we finna shake up the whole One Piece verse in a couple hours. After word gets out that the most unexpectedly OP character Magellan is on his way back, everybody decides to run for the hills. Everyone except Blackbeard, because this man and his crew really pulled up on Magellan. And at this point, I'm like, okay, bet. We're about to get a, like a whole episode of Blackbeard versus Magellan. Nah, bro, this man Magellan straight up one-shot Blackbeard and his entire crew in the span of 10 seconds. And Blackbeard was really on that Sasuke-type luck because Shiryu, being the absolute op that he is, really bailed this man Blackbeard out by having the antidote. So after Ace dies, the whole war pretty much comes to a standstill with both sides until Blackbeard pulls up with his new and improved crew full of inmates he released from Impel Down. And this man really pulled up and was like, oh yeah, y'all thought this war was finished. We're just getting started. And he starts talking trash to Whitebeard since he was really knocking on death's door at that point. And that's not even the end of it. Blackbeard's like, you can keep this goofy warlord title. I don't need it. Why the government thought it was a good idea to make this dirty barnacle a warlord. I guess we'll never know. Whitebeard starts assuming the position and then absolutely booms the Blackbeard Pirates. So the Blackbeard Pirates barely survive Whitebeard's blast and then Whitebeard hits Blackbeard with some emotional damage. Cause he's like, they're the only one I refuse to call my son. So then Whitebeard and Blackbeard are getting ready to run the ones. So Whitebeard tries to use his double fruits abilities and Blackbeard nullifies them and then straight up decks this man in the gut. Right where Whitebeard has to put it lightly suffered some critical injuries. So then Blackbeard straight up sure you can bro in the face. And then Whitebeard tries to use his double fruit abilities again. And Blackbeard really said, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? So Whitebeard catches his weapon that was went flying when he took a hit earlier and straight up said you may be able to nullify double fruit abilities but you can never nullify these hands and gets ready to straight up end Blackbeard's whole career. Bro, look at this man's face. Another fraudulent moment by this man, Blackbeard. So Whitebeard slashes Blackbeard and has this man laid out and then starts talking about how much of a fraud he is. So Whitebeard is preparing to boom this man at point blank range. And bro, this man is talking about some pops. What? Don't do it. Bro, I'm you your son. About, and Whitebeard proceeds to in fact boom this man, Blackbeard. <laughs> and because of all the injuries, right after he's frozen in place so he can't finish off blackbeard so whitebeard starts hitting that gear too real quick and blackbeard is looking terrified on that fraud like behavior again this man is so desperate he whips out the blicky and shoots whitebeard then blackbeard calls in for backup and they straight up hit this man with an all-out attack real quick so we get a two minute montage of the Blackbeard Pirates just going absolutely stupid just shooting and slashing Whitebeard. So after the montage, all the Blackbeard Pirates think Whitebeard has gone unconscious from his injuries. So then Whitebeard really is that guy. Only is he 
conscious and he made sure in his dying breath to tell Blackbeard that you're not the man Roger was waiting for because you are not that guy. But bro, once Whitebeard died, this was really where this man went from fraud to absolute menace. So the Blackbeard pirates throw a cover over Whitebeard and then Blackbeard goes under the cover and he's like, give me a couple minutes and then I'm about to put on an absolute show for y'all. So a couple minutes go by and the Blackbeard pirates start taking the cover off and everything looks exactly the same. But Blackbeard does have that devious lick lair and he uses the Yama Yama no Mi which is all right, but then this man assumes a boom position and everyone is stunned oh, because this man starts leveling Marine Ford with Whitebeard's fruit. Then bro must have really been feeling himself because he was like, it's my era now. Then he starts talking that talk. He's like, who's trying to scrap now, huh? No takers? That's a shame because I'm about to boom Marine Ford into the ground. So then Blackbeard decides to go absolutely crazy crazy with white bear fruit and has marine ford looking done and bro is really just laughing at all the pain and destruction he is causing until shanks and the red hair pirates pull up and end the war and shanks really pressed this man blackbeard and he was like we can keep fighting if you want to and blackbeard really had the sense to hit that flea option because he was like yeah we're not ready to fight you yet and leaves marine ford and that was pretty much it for hundreds of episodes until so after the time skip, we see Blackbeard not only has increased his drip, he now owns an entire island. And that's not even the end of it. Bro really went from cleaning Whitebeard's floors to becoming a Yonka with a $2.2 .2 billion bounty at breakneck speeds. Hey guys, LSJ here. I just wanted to thank you all for being patient and me getting this video out to y'all. You guys have been so kind and supportive in the comments as I've been, you know, trying to get this video out. I really appreciate you.